Number 1. Esterhazy Palace. This palace is renowned throughout the country and is one of the main architectural buildings in the state of Begenland. The palace was constructed in the 13th century and was owned by the Esterhazy family in the 1600s. Throughout its history, the palace has had design changes, initially it had a Baroque design, then in the 18th century it changed to a classical design and in the 20th century it saw little change, just restoration. Number 2. Bergkirch. The Bergkirch was built by the Esterhazy family who have a large historical presence in Eisenstadt and is an extremely unusually designed religious building. The church stands out against its surrounding and its many leveled ceiling creates strange angles and shapes. Whilst the exterior is fascinating enough, the interior features some amazing designs, especially the main ceiling fresco that depicts various biblical scenes. Number 3. Haydn Museum. The musical composer Haydn is synonymous with Eisenstadt and it is here that he had a home. This home has now been turned into the Haydn Museum and it provides a personal and in-depth insight into the man, his life and his musical history. The rooms of this legendary composer's house have been faithfully recreated, and the exhibitions include private letters, musical sheets and other interesting objects from his life. Number 4. Landes Museum Bigenland. This is the main museum of the region that delves into the history of Bigenland and its culture and identity. The Landes Museum is located close to the Esterhazy Palace on the Musumgas Street and features a large courtyard with a glass roof that opens up to the heavens. The museum itself contains several sub-exhibition areas including a section on natural science and geology, and another section about the folklore, economy, and political history of Bigenland. Number 5. Schloss Park. The Schloss Park is located behind the Esterhazy Palace and is an expansive parkland open to the public. The park and grounds have a great amount of features including many fountains and water routes, winding paths that meander through woodland and plant life, an orangery, several circular stone outbuildings and a large obelisk. The gardens have a variety of styles that reflect the changes over the years and contain different varieties of plants, flowers and trees. Number 6. Neusiedler Sea. The Neusiedler Sea lies a short distance to the east of Eisenstadt and is a fantastic area of natural beauty near the border of Hungary. The surface of the lake covers 122 square mile and is around 22 miles long. Over the years this large lake has experienced periods of drought and has completely dried up due to its low-lying bed, however it continues to flourish and is a popular tourist destination. Number 7. Hopstrabe. The Hopstrabe is one of the main public squares in Eisenstadt and it runs from the entrance to the Schloss Esterhazy on Joseph Haydn Gas, to Franz Liszt Gas on the opposite side. This lengthy square is lined with a range of shops, cafes, restaurants and bars that are all wonderful to explore. Furthermore there is a delightful fountain and column in the center of the square, and regular markets are held here which are well worth a visit. Number 8. Take a guided walking tour of Eisenstadt. A walking tour is often a great and concise way to see what a town has to offer, get to know your surroundings and learn about its history. Walking tours are available in Eisenstadt and take you through the historic town center and visit such buildings as the Haydn Museum, the Jewish Museum and the Bergkirch. Number 9. The Mausoleum of Haydn. You cannot escape the presence of Haydn in the town of Eisenstadt and he is indeed buried here under the Bergkirch in his own mausoleum. Inside the Bergkirch church, also known as Haydn Church by some, there is a chapel on the right-hand side that is dedicated to the composer. The mausoleum is ornately decorated and the large marble tomb speaks of the man's importance. Number 10. Wine Museum. A museum for wine? Perfect. The Begenland Wine Museum is the largest in Austria and resides in the basement of the Esterhazy Palace. The museum contains a staggering 700 exhibits including a Roman wine press, wine barrels, and other associated wine crafting memorabilia. If you love wine, or just love history and how things are created, the Wine Museum will entertain and fascinate you for hours.
Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.